Today I've got a review of the Orca Torch range of flashlights. They are flashlights that I've been using for the past year and a half and I've used them in quite a few of my videos. Maybe you guys remember the Saipan Grotto video which was very popular on my channel. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And uh, now that I've used these, these flashlights for over a year, I'm now finally ready to do a review on it. So I'm going to talk a bit about the lights, I'm going to show them to you and finally I'm going to show you some dive footage using the lights that you guys haven't seen before. So let's get started with the review. First up is the D500 flashlight. This is the one that I used in Saipan Grotto. It looks kind of like a lightsaber underwater. Very powerful, very cool flashlight. And to go with that, I've got a new version called the D500V, which is a wide angle video light with a 120 degree beam. And finally, I've got the slightly more compact D550. So inside all of the Orca Torch boxes, you'll find this high quality wrist strap. You can put the flashlight onto your wrist and you can dive hands free. You can equalize, you can point the light around. It's easy, it's compact, full use of your hands. So also a very cool feature uh, on all the Orca Torch lights. First up, let's talk about the D500. The on switch is over here, which is very convenient. You can easily switch it on and off while you're in the middle of your dive, one-handed. This is the light that I used in Saipan Grotto. Very bright, very powerful, and uh, probably my favorite. So here's the D500 underwater, and you can see just how powerful and penetrating this light is. 700 lumens definitely gets the job done. Its beam profile is a bright spot in the center with some flooding around it. Next up, here's the slightly smaller D550. Now, there's the D500, there's the D550, so there's a slight size difference. But with the D550, you've got the switch on the end. Now here I am using the D550 underwater. This is daytime, I've got the sun directly overhead. So it doesn't look as bright as my previous video clip, but this is the same brightness as the D500. They are both 700 lumen lights. And in this clip, I'm about 20 meters down and I'm just using it to bring out the colors on the reef, bring out the colors on the fish. Being a very small and very compact light, it's very easy for a free diver to use, very easy to point around. Very convenient light. And finally, I've got the D500V, which is a video light. It spreads its light over a very, very wide area. The D500V is a floodlight version of the D500. So while the power of the light is the same, the beam is spread over a consistent 120 degree angle. So it floods your entire video scene. This light is suitable to mount onto a rig so that you can use your GoPro for doing underwater video. While it's a very bright light, it's not a penetrating light, it's a flood light. So if you want penetration, the D500 is the one to get. If you want a flood of the whole scene, the D500V is the one to get. So I'm around 16 meters down here and you can see how the D500V brings out the colors in the reef so well. So that wraps it up for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And for my subscribers, I will see you guys in my next video.